Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I want to let you know that you can finally, if you have a Samsung Galaxy device, you can finally customize your Bixby button and it's very, very easy. So first of all, what you want to do, of course, just in case you haven't done it yet, uh, most likely your phone by this time already, already updated the Bixby button and all the homepage and all that. Um, if you haven't, just go ahead to your Galaxy app, right? Galaxy Store app. Uh, which is this one right here galaxy store right and uh, right here of course you have to be signed into your um, um, samsung account whatever samsung account you created but up here you click settings click my page and right here there's an update tab and you should, should see any latest update right here right now you don't see nothing because i already updated or everything that was there so that's where you find it on the galaxy store application once you do that all you got to do is double tap right here right double tap and it'll open the bixby button menu so from right here in this menu there's three dots right here over here click there click settings and in setting this is how it should look if it doesn't look like this that means you still have the old bixby button features this is also let me go and show you guys this is also version 2.1.04.18 that's it that's the version of bixby you should have so once you open this up right you have a couple options here you can actually customize like the language of the voice you could change the voice of the bixby but what we want to do in this video is customize the bixby key click right there and now you have the options here to single press to open bixby which we're doing right or double press to open bixby which is the way that i have it uh, so double press to open bixby and this right here click right there and there's going to be something else here but i actually chose netflix uh, this is going to be off this is going to be off so make sure you put it on then click right here, right? Right here in that little gear right there. And now you have the option to put any application that you want, any application that you want. So if you want, like I do Netflix there, just click on Netflix. You should see Netflix there and just go back again, right? We could go and get out of here. And now when you single tap the Bixby button, now you got Netflix. Look at that. That is so awesome. So from now on, so with the latest update, when you talk to Bixby, you have to hold, right? What's the weather like today? And release, and then it will answer, right? Today, or, it is partly you see cloudy, that? You're going to ask whatever you have, the hell you want, and, and it will degrees. answer. And double tap to open the Bixby menu. There you go. And click here again. Click here in settings. Click here, right there, right? Right here, double press. Let's go and choose another application there. Boom. Nope. Let's go and choose. I chose Amazon there. Let's go and choose. Um, let's go and choose uh, um, Game Pass. I'm going to choose Game Pass just for the purpose of this video. Boom. We're done, right? Click one, one time. And there you go. It's going to open Game Pass. Awesome. This is compatible with any Samsung Galaxy device that has the Bixby button right here. The Bixby button is gonna be the volume and now you have the Bixby button right there. Um, and I think it's from the Samsung Galaxy S8 to the latest Galaxy phones. So I think this option is actually, actually gonna be there. So now, now you, we can actually customize our Bixby button, which is freaking awesome. So guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share this short video with you guys. Most likely you have some type of Galaxy device. This right here is the Galaxy Note 9. I was going to say 10. The Galaxy Note 9. And now I am super happy that I can actually use this button uh, to, to launch actually any application that I want. So again, very, very easily double tap to access the menu click right here click settings click bixby button click on in double press make sure you select that then click right there turn this on because this is going to be off by default click right there the gear and just choose whatever application you want from your list of course the application that you want of course has to be installed on your phone and that's it once you do that all you got to do is launch the button and there you have it. Go and close this so you can see launch the button and 
voila that's it so guys thanks for watching this video i hope this little tip actually helped you out till next time bye bye